So tell me if I'm wrong. If you're working 14 hour days, that means you're not eating. You're not spending, you're working. The Bible says in all labor there's profit. Your blood it's blood, sweat, and tears. You're sacrificing. It has to be escape velocity. Am I wrong? I, you can't have but so much stuff break down and then finally it has to level off, I would think. Tell me if I'm thinking right. <clears throat> 14 hour days should bring you into escape velocity. In other words, everything's decaying, but if you're doing 14 hour days, you're, you're bringing that, back, that curve back up, right? This, uh, this ridiculous uh, inflation thing, they tripled the prices. Not just doubled, but tripled the prices. Most stuff is tripled, seriously. And they were talking about, oh, <clears throat> they were gonna pass a law not to price gouge in, in this city, in this state, I mean, during the hurricane. Well, what about price gouging right now? Life. The only way we can beat them is to uh, not play the game. Well, when you quit playing the game, you know, they play a supply and demand, su supply and demand game. They're always playing this supply and demand game, you know, and, uh, kind of ridiculous to be honest with you. They're always playing these games of supply and demand and they lied to everybody. They had China, people believed the lie. They ate the lie, you know, that they could just, instead of storing stuff, instead of having stuff stored in a warehouse, they would just get it from China directly instantly or not instantly, but next day air or something like that. Now everybody's going back to keeping storage, you know? Keeping stuff in storage. People learn their lesson. You can't depend on China. You gotta have multiple, you gotta have multiple supply chains. Just depending on China junk for the birds.